We said fascism equals corporatism because it is a merger of state and corporate power. So we're fighting now against fascism. That's a fact. That's, that's, that's. We're fighting for democracy. And what is democracy? Democracy is people power. And this man here, he's, he's, sorry, he was here a year ago, he was here a year ago, he was here a year ago, and, and I just want to say that those parties, they have sold themselves. They're gone.
that the battle starts because only then can we address the uh, people who we need to hold to account, which is the Eurogroup and all those people where the uh, policies are coming from. But this is what we're seeing with the globalists. They're using <laughs> the left ideas, not the authoritarian right ideas. The left ideas suit them. Because the left ideas say, we are a scourge on the planet. We deserve nothing. Uh, we have to all sacrifice. What Rand Keenan is saying, this UN UK government guy who left it all, and the only people who could get to listen to us, him was the likes of us, he's saying all these projects are there to put the price of energy up. The fact that we can't hold any of these people to account, they will overrule our planning laws and just say you're taking it because it's part of the bigger agenda. It's part of the global agenda because the agenda is coming from much, much higher up than the doll, than our um, elected representatives. So we mustn't be coerced into 15 minute cities. We mustn't be coerced into high energy prices. We mustn't be coerced into high housing prices. And that's what's happening to us. And it's happening for, to us from global um, globalists. The state has gone rogue and is attacking the nation. So that's pretty much, I'll say one more thing before I go, which is um, uh, the Irish nation is rural and urban. I think we have to work at it. I, I think that we, we can speak this to everyone, you know, and uh, I, I think we have to do it. I think there's no choice. Uh, we're not going to give up. We have to do this, and, and we will. So thanks very much, guys. There's been an awful lot of talk about a, 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 a rural sort of uprising and, 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 and rising up. But you know, we, we who live in urban areas, we are we are one small country, and I think we all can come together. Um, there's an awful lot of people who live in the cities who are as passionate about having access to good quality food. We can't all live on a farm, we can't all farm, but there's an awful lot of people, there's thousands of people, like the markets in Dublin do really, really well. The the positive living community, like we, we, we want to have access to good food we want farmers to be able to supply us directly so that you get more money. That was another thing about uh, the role that when the farmers started selling directly to the markets they made, they were making like 150 or 2 euro a litre, whereas before they were making 40 cents a litre. So, you know, it's much more profitable for, for farmers as well to be able to uh, to sell directly. So that's, that's one of the reasons why we think the, you know, our, our local co-ops or local markets, they're all really good. The other thing I wanted to say was, so I've, I do have a master's in, um, Nutrition, and I, you know, sometimes with this whole green agenda that we've heard lots about today, and we've all heard lots about, it, is like, you know, it's like we just stop blaming the cows for everything that's wrong with the planet. Like, you know, it's like cows are blamed for heart disease, they're blamed for cancer, they're blamed for global, but like seriously, they're blamed for everything. A, a cow or a sheep or a goat, it's it's some of the most nutritious foods that you can eat. There is no other food on the planet where you can get your B12. B12 is vital for life, where you can get your bioavailable iron, your heme iron, where you can get your folic acid, where you can get your zinc, where you can, um, what, else, what else have I forgotten? If you're drinking, the, eating the dairy, you get your calcium, you get your vitamin D, you get your vitamin A. You can literally live off a cow or a sheep and be healthy and not be deficient in anything. The organ meats, the liver, uh, the kidneys, they actually contain vitamin C. So, you know, we're all told we've got to eat oranges for a vitamin C, but you can actually be lacking in nothing. Eating animal products is so maligned and it's so put down, but it's actually so essential for, for, for health. Vitamin A and vitamin D and cholesterol are really important for our brain functions. And you've got so many young kids today and they just they just can't even stay in school um, you know, for, for four or five hours. And there's obviously lots of reasons for everything, but one reason is the fact that they're not fed meat and, and eggs and egg yolks and that sort of thing from an early age. And just to encourage you, if you are, you know, farming uh, dairy or beef or sheep or, or anything to do with that, what you are doing is so important. We've had cows on this, 
on this land for as long as there's been men and women on this on this on this island. You know, uh, they they benefit the land, they benefit us, they keep us healthy, and so you know just. Uh, as I said, because when I was when I was offered the opportunity to speak, I just wanted to say that that it's so important. Don't let people tell you that what you're doing is destroying the planet. If you farm beef or if you farm dairy or, or, or sheep or anything like that, I'm obviously you know missing out on something. But that is that is vital for our life. It's vital for our health. It's vital for our future. It's vital for our children's future. So uh, yeah, let's 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 not pull the herd. Let's increase the herd. <laughs> let's uh, let's have cows on uh, and sheep on all, on every on every uh, on every field. Okay.